Coming up, police break up a wedding in Stamford Hill. More than Tonight, shameful and idiotic, the 150-strong wedding party broken up by police in Stamford Hill. The, the dangerous event has strengthened calls for frontline officers to get priority for the vaccine. Also ahead... Good evening. Leaders from across the capital have strongly condemned the actions of more than 150 people who attended a wedding at a state-funded Orthodox Jewish school in North London. The illegal gathering was shut down by large numbers of police in Stamford Hill last night. Those running the school say they have no idea the building was being used for the event. And today it also emerged that the school's former principal died with Covid in April of last year. The organisers of the wedding face a £10,000 fine, but this and other breaches of lockdown rules have led to more calls for frontline officers to be offered the vaccine. Katie Barnfield reports. Well, in the last hour, some concerning news has emerged about the UK variant of coronavirus. Nithya Rajan has been monitoring the Prime Minister's press conference uh, this afternoon. Nithya, what was said? Well, he made two... Now, this comes just... At Nithya, thank you. Well, next tonight, the gang behind a people smuggling ring which led to the deaths of 39 Vietnamese migrants in a lorry in Essex have been jailed today for their crimes that shocked the world. Four men, two of them ringleaders, were sentenced to a total of 78 years at the Old Bailey this afternoon as police described them as a group who were making money from misery. Chloe Keady reports. The only way is Essex star Mick Norcross has died, aged 57, the businessman. The daughter of a woman who died from coronavirus at Barnet Hospital has been telling ITV News how she thought the disease was all a hoax before her mum fell ill. Victoria Everest, who is from Enfield, is now trying to raise money for her family so they can return their mother's body to Turkey. We're well, speaking to Rachel Brown. She made a direct plea to anyone being influenced by conspiracy theories online. A warning, some of you might find some of the details in her reports upsetting. Well, the sceptics who influence Victoria into thinking the virus is a hoax are damaging the minds of young people right across the capital. Today, new research has revealed that women aged between 18 and 34 are most likely to refuse the jab due to concerns over fertility. And just to illustrate how much of a growing problem this is, the women we spoke to all had reservations about the vaccine. Um, Moving on to sport now, and the pressure is on in West London. Chelsea manager Frank Lampard said championship side Luton will be a tough competitor in the FA Cup this weekend. His England's second test match against Sri Lanka is underway and for most cricket fans that might mean a few days glued to the telly but for one super fan from Surrey it's another chance to see his team in the flesh. Bob Lewis travelled out there back in March to watch the initial match which was cancelled. He then waited 10 long months and enjoyed a pandemic of course until they returned. He's been speaking to Antoine Allen. Go. Well, next, the story of two Londoners determined to show solidarity with their family in India in the most challenging of ways. Gurpreet Singh, Dinsa and Talvinder Singh, Johal, had wanted to travel to India to join in with farming protests going on in the country, but Covid put a stop to that. Instead, they are offering their support by protesting in their own back garden in a tent. Carolyn Sim has been to meet them in West London. All right, time for the weather now. Here's Philippa Drew with the forecast. And finally, as festivals are cancelled and the uncertainty remains over the national lockdown, we end tonight with the uplifting message from one of the members of the chart-topping band Rudimental. DJ Locksmith says that after a difficult upbringing in Hackney, he's hopeful that his new book can help others who are struggling to find a light at what might seem like a very turbulent tunnel. Sam Holder has been to meet him. And that is all for now. We are back with the latest after ITV News at 10. Coming up, Charlene White with the ITV Evening News. But from me and the rest of the London team, bye-bye.